Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards, and today it is Pack Battle Day. Yes, we are battling with Average Joe, as we do every Wednesday here on the channel. Today, it is a tin battle. Joe and I will be gearing up in our suits of tin armor and going at it, and no, it's nothing like that, unfortunately. That would be a spectacle for the ages, I think we can agree, but unfortunately that's not what's happening because Joe lives in a completely different part of the country than I do. The Card Wolf Citadel is located uh, in the mountains and Joe lives out on the plains somewhere that I'm, I'm not going to disclose because his location must remain a secret. But in any event, we are battling with mystery tins. You get uh, four sealed packs and one mystery pack, hence the name mystery tin, because all of those packs are inside one of those tins. Um, I opened one of these probably about two or three months ago, and I thought it was so good I went back and bought more, and I thought Average Joe might enjoy this. That's what I thought. And so I sent him one, and so we decided to do a pack battle. There will be five packs in here. They may not be the same as the five packs that Average Joe pulls from his tin, and that's what makes it super interesting today. So it's sort of like a mystery pack battle. First time anywhere, mystery pack battle. I mean, I like it. You guys like that, then we can call it a mystery pack battle. So uh, in any event, we'll see what we get out of here. It advertises you could get Topps Chrome from last year, 2021 Topps Chrome, or Topps Chrome Japanese, which would be awesome. I've opened a paper Japanese um, from one of the uh, mystery tins I opened before. There was a, a regular uh, paper Japanese, but I've not gotten a Chrome Japanese before, so we'll see what we get out of here. Thank you guys for joining me. Get Mr. Kershaw to uh, carve along the edge of our tin and uh, see how it goes opening this thing. As always, practice good knife safety and keep those blades out of the reach of small children and anyone dressed in tin armor. You would not want to give them a blade like that wrapped quite securely so there's no chance that anybody could have gotten in here and ruined the mystery. Nobody would want that. It's really uh, jammed in here. man. Uh, Alright, there we go. All right, let's see what this tin holds in store for us and uh, you guys can check out Average Joe's video on his channel. If you've never been to Average Joe's channel, I don't know what you're waiting for because his channel is awesome. He opens all kinds of great stuff. He's a super friendly guy and he loves the hobby, and uh, it's also super generous. He sends me stuff all the time. So that's pretty sweet. That's a good pack right there off the top. We get a prism, uh, sort of a bonus pack there. Man, that is awesome. 12 cards per pack of the silver, and then there's a, there's a bonus pack behind it as well. So that's a really sweet pull. Allen and Ginter, 2022, six cards out of there. Topps Baseball UK, that is pretty awesome as well. We got 2022 update, and then we do get a Japanese pack, so that's pretty sweet. Another paper Japanese pack. I will push this tin off the screen because we no longer need any of that, but uh, I think we might have an advantage over Joe because technically we get six packs out of here with this uh, prism bonusy uh, situation we got here, so uh, that's a good pack. That's, I feel like that's a hit. I mean, it doesn't say that uh, on the outside, but that's kind of a hit. So that's the bonus pack, and you get special cards in there, and this is uh, 2021 Prism, so 12 cards in there, and you know what the rookies are for 2021. 2022 Update, 2022 UK, 2022 Allen and Ginter, and this uh, Japanese pack is 2021, and that is where we shall begin with our Japanese packs that we got out of there. Six packs to open, which I feel like gives me an advantage. I don't, unless Joe pulled a prism pack as well, he will not have six packs to get into. So let's see what we get out of this uh, Japanese pack. Of course, very difficult to read these because they're in the 2021 design, but I shall endeavor to do my best. We've got uh, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, and he is from the Buffaloes. And then we got... Uh, Yuta Magamagawa, he is from the Lions, and Carter Stewart, what is he doing pitching in the Japanese league, but apparently Carter Stewart would prefer to pitch over there, or maybe he can't get a gig in the majors, I don't know. Either way, Carter Stewart's pitching for the Soft Bank Hawks. There you go. We got Yuki Karakawa, and he is pitching for the... 
can't quite re make that out. The uh, Marines, I think. I don't know what that is. We got uh, Jinhiro Sumitani and uh, Kinsuki Kondon. We got uh, Brandon Laird. Brandon Laird, who I, I think played in the majors, if I remember correctly. He looks pretty pumped to be playing in the Japanese league. We got uh, Naoki Yashikawa playing for the Giants. Shoto Shota, rather, Shota Iminaga, and Okuta Katakaru, Devon Visido, and Shun Nimaki. A sideways card here of Yuki Nishi, pitching for the Hunch and Tigers, whose logo I always really liked. And our last card is Takuya Kinishita. And I don't know what, what is that logo? I don't know if I've ever seen that logo before. Get this uh, close up on the screen. That's kind of a cute logo. My son would probably like that one a lot. What team is that? That is the Dragons. Oh, that is, that is a cute dragon rather than a vicious dragon. I feel like if my team name were the Dragons, I would probably want the, the logo to be a little more, I don't know, vicious. Let's do Alan and Ginter next. See how we do out of that. I just don't know the Japanese players that well, so I don't know if I actually pulled something that is super awesome. We didn't pull any parallels or anything like that, and uh, we didn't seem to pull any inserts either, so I'm assuming there was nothing all that uh, exciting out of there. This is Allen and Ginter 2022 now, is what we're opening here out of our tin today, and it is a rookie card of Palacios. We got uh, Scott. I don't know which Scott that is. Rodney Scott, who is apparently a barbecue chef. And that's what you get with Allen and Ginter. You, you get all kinds of random weird stuff that sometimes has nothing to do with baseball and most of the time i'm kind of like i don't know that that guy deserves to be on a card rogers hornsby that's awesome that is a pc card for me i always liked rogers hornsby cards and they're very very unusual to pull and uh one of the greatest second basemen to ever play the game certainly rogers hornsby and joe morgan and napla joy a very small number of guys i would think are the best second baseman ever rogers hornsby that's really cool we got a ketchup bottle oh no it's hot sauce here that is what's cooking some hot sauce our mini card is donovan rookie card who is that brendan donovan from the cardinals and um we got a nice uh put that I don't know why they go out of focus. Anyway, got a nice uh, Cabrian Hayes card there. I look at the backs because some of these uh, have, or are supposed to have, like special uh, limited edition backs. We didn't get any of those out of there, but uh, we did get a nice Rogers Hornsby card. Happy about that. Let's do the uh, update one. 2022 Tops update. See uh, how we do out of here. Trying to remember what the exciting cards were at a 2022 update, and I'm kind of drawing a blank. Kenley Jansen starts things off for us. The Braves pitcher, Jake Marisnik from Pittsburgh. William Woods, rookie card there. Robinson Chirinos, the less said about the Orioles' postseason performance, the better. Max Scherzer, future Hall of Famer. Reese McGuire, and we got Javi Baez, nice card there. Aliamis Diaz and Steve Kishek. Flip these over for Sergio Alcantara. Flip them again because apparently Topps wants to pretend they're upper deck for this pack. Drew Steckenrider and Alex Fado, rookie card there. Orlando Arcia and James Norwood. And then we get to Yogi Berra, Paragons of the Postseason, an appropriately named card for Yogi Berra, who I believe played in more World Series than any other player. I think he played in 10, I think. Probably won them all, given that he was on the Yankees. 1956, that's a pretty cool card. I don't remember ever pulling a Paragons of the Postseason card from Update, so maybe that's a pretty unusual insert. Anyway, I, I like it. It's going to get its own stack. And then O'Neill Cruz, Stars of the MLB, who I collect, so that's a pretty cool. Nice rookie card of O'Neill Cruz. Not sure if I have that one, so I'll wolf layer that for sure. So that's pretty darn cool. And, of course, it is the Postseason, so nice that we... Uh, pulled that. I think I'll open this regular Prism pack next, and we'll save the Tops UK and the Prism bonus pack. Open this uh, Prism pack again. This is 2021, and you get 12 cards per pack, and uh, we'll see how we do out of here. Hopefully pull something great. So far, I don't feel like it's been pretty lackluster. Joe always pulls really well. If you've watched Average Joe's channel at all, you know he has 
just constantly has the hot hand. The guy should be wearing oven mitts when he opens his packs because he's always pulling great stuff. Ken Griffey Jr. starts this one off. That's a pretty sweet pull. I like that one. Uh, that definitely goes in the wolf layer. Zach Plesak there. And a black and white card of Rod Crew. I believe that is a parallel, if I'm not mistaken. That uh, That's a pretty neat card. I like that one. I'll put that one in the special stack. Luis Garcia, rookie card in Prism. And Isaiah Kiner Falefa. We got Kyle Lewis there and Mike Soroka pitching for Atlanta. Ryan Mountcastle, rookie card there for the Orioles. I'll PC that one. Joey Votto, nice card of the Reds there. Well, then we get to the interesting cards here. Joey Gallo, fearless. And he is from the dreaded Texas Rangers, who were the nemesis of the Orioles in the postseason. We got Luis Garcia, rookie class card there. And another rookie class of Andres Jimenez. So, uh... We could have done better with the rookies, I think, but still uh, a pretty neat pack, and I pulled a couple of uh, good cards out of there. Let's go with the Tops UK. So this is uh, essentially regular 2022 Tops cards, but they have a UK treatment, and the UK set is smaller than the overall top set from the same year. These are uh, 2022, so different, different rookie cards in here, as you will see, but same design as the Tops cards. Gabe... Gabriel Arias there starts things off. Pretty good one. Nice uh, rookie card there for the Guardians. Willie Castro from the Tigers. You can see they also have the uh, Union Jack, as the Brits like to call their flag. Uh, I guess the only nickname we have for our flag is Stars and Stripes, or maybe Old Glory. I don't know. In any event, there's C.J. Abrams' rookie card there for the Padres. Xander Bogart, shout out to Shane at Shoebox Legends. Shane, you might not have this uh, UK version of this card, actually, so let me know in the comments if you need that one, and I'll be happy to send it out to you the next time I send you something. Josh Donaldson there for the Yankees. And uh, we got Joe Donand from the Miami Marlins, rookie card of that player. Flip it again for Ozzy Albies. Nice card there of that player. Paul Goldschmidt, last year's National League MVP. I don't think he's going to get it this year. I think Acuna's got that one locked up this year, but still a very nice card. We got Matt Brash, rookie card there, and he looks completely strained to be throwing that ball. Man, look at him. The effort required for Matt Brash to get the ball across the plate must be absolutely crazy. We do get a, an insert out of the UK pack. That's pretty cool. This is significant statistics insert of Bryce Harper. Phillies could go back to the World Series this year. We'll see if that happens. That's pretty nice, actually. I don't don't think I've uh, I don't think I've opened UK pack at least once or twice before, and I don't think I've pulled an insert like that. So that's uh, actually a pretty cool card, in my opinion. And then we get to our last pack, which hopefully will be the best pack. It is the bonus pack from that Prism Hanger pack that. Uh, we opened. Uh, the regular Prism Pack did not do much for me, so hopefully this bonus pack will have something that merits the bonus name given to this pack. It will be some awesome and really sweet stuff in here. We'll find out. We do get a Fearless one. That's pretty sweet. Nice uh, Fearless one. It is Dylan Carlson, and it is a rookie card, so that's not bad. I mean, not a guy I collect, but still pretty cool to pull that. That's... Uh, Really a, a very pretty card, actually. Put that in its own stack. Jose Marmalo, Marmalejos. I don't know this guy. Jose Marmalejos from Seattle. You can see all of these are red, white, and blue. Anthony Santander. We get an Orioles one. That's pretty sweet. Another rookie card here of Jose Garcia. I think that's our second Jose Garcia rookie card of this rip. Ramon Urias. Another Oriole. That's pretty sweet. And a rookie card of that player. And we finish off with Ramon Laureano from the A's. So overall, i got to say, I don't think that we have much chance of beating Joe this week. I think he's probably going to pull some sort of uh, great numbered card. He's probably going to pull an autographed card. Uh, he'll at least get a numbered card or an autographed card. We got uh, the Dylan Carlson Fearless uh, Red, White, and Blue uh, special card. That That's actually a, a pretty nice card, probably. It's not a player I collect, but pretty cool. Rod Carew, Black and White card. I like that one a lot. And the Yogi Bear, of course. And then in the Wolf Lair... You will recall I placed the Mount Castle rookie, the Ken Griffey Jr. Prism card, the O'Neill Cruz stars the MLB rookie, and Rogers Hornsby, which is, is not a particularly valuable card, but one that I like a lot. So that's what you have to go on. Compare what I got to whatever average Joe gets out of his tin. And again, his packs may be different from mine. He may get different stuff. 
We'll see how that goes. Can't wait to watch his video myself, actually. I'm very curious to see what he gets. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought it uh, might be fun just to kind of do a battle like that. We've never done one quite like that before. Hope you guys are having a great Wednesday and that things are going well where you are. It is raining uh, quite a bit here, which I don't really mind. We always need the rain, so nothing wrong with that. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. It is the continuation tomorrow of, that's right, Dorking with Dice Week here on the Card Wolf Network. Tomorrow will be a vintage box. Uh, the box isn't really vintage, but the packs inside are vintage, and they are football from the 80s and 90s, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun opening those. And then, of course, Friday, do not miss it. It is a spectacle like none other. It is double dorking, two boxes of vintage packs from all kinds of different places and sports and whatnot, and two big D20s that we will roll to decide what packs we open. Hopefully I can get my son involved in that and uh, get uh, a whole bunch of packs open. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've got all kinds of cool stuff I'm putting in those double dorking boxes. You can count on some quality entertainment on Friday, and I'm looking forward to that. Hope you guys are doing well this week, and uh, as always, happy collecting.